And our climate has been severely impacted by human actions resulting in a backlash of extreme weather conditions. And this is according to Senator Ishaku Abba during a one-day seminar organized by the Ilia Yame Kwasi Foundation for Justice, Peace and Development. The seminar held to address the escalating climate crisis highlighted the urgent need for proactive measures. Senator Abba emphasized that human activities have wounded a climate which is in which in turn is retaliating through heat waves, floods, landslides, droughts, and desert encroachment. These conditions are exacerbating conflicts over resources, particularly between farmers and headers. Stakeholders at the seminar proposed several solutions to mitigate these challenges, including extensive tree planting, preserving forest resources, and in open grazing and introducing climate studies in educational curriculums at all levels. This place is a desert today. By the time you come back next year, the desert has moved to this place. Next year, the desert has moved to this place. So in 50 years, in 50 years, Yola will become Sahara Desert. That's what it means. In 50 years, Yola will become Sahara Desert. Unless we do what he is doing now, we roll back the desert. We fight it back. By what? By tree planting. We have to physically fight it. You are children. You are great-grandchildren. If you think you are suffering now, what is facing your great-grandchildren is one million times worse than what you are going through. Going through. Unless you and I say, let us save the people to come. Let us save our children. Let us save our grandchildren. And we can do that by doing what is right. Stop corruption. Use the money that we're supposed to steal invest it back into infrastructure, invest it back into tree planting. The purpose of this event is to continue a process of contributing in a small way towards caring and regenerating our environment. And that is by promoting tree planting, but also conversation about peace building and harmony in the community. The of climate change and what is affecting the whole world now, it is affecting not only Nigeria, it's the whole world that is affected. So uh, it is a wonderful initiative and I, I commend him. It is our responsibility. The health is our common home and we have every reason in order to protect the health, to make it a better place for the future generation to live in. Speaker said, look, our uh, planet is wounded. If you don't have the planet, we will all be gone especially in a religious society like ours. We've heard of how the first wall was destroyed by flood by Noah. And now what is happening in the society is there is no justice, there is no peace, and without justice and peace you cannot have development. 